I will see two main reasons. The first one is for the shape. When you need to have curvature shapes, it's necessary to mold and composite materials are very great to mold. And the other big reason is the weightless. When you have project, you need to cut the, the weight, especially for the boat, for example, for the mast. It is very often necessary to think about composite materials. You will save uh, energy, energy for the fuel consuming, for example, or you will save also energy for the erection. As it is less weight, you need less effort to erect the products. So there is a lot of advantages of composite material due to the weight, and we use these advantages uh, all day in industry and in building constructions. My advice will be for these people to think about function integration. As composite materials are molded, you can use insert, you can add the connection in the port, you will have not so many parts to join them together. So this is integration of function. At first, with a traditional material, you will have, for example, five parts to do various functions. And at the end, with composite, you try to have only one part with all the five functions integrated in the composite part. On the mast or on other structure, for example, the objective is to have all the connection inside the part, not to have extra part. It will be better for the reliability of the structure. It will be better for the corrosion resistance. There's a lot of energy. It's better for the cost also. It's less expensive. There is a lot of uh, opportunities, but from my point of view, innovative transportation in order to have a less uh, carbon footprint will be future for composite. We discussed about solid state project, which is an innovative way of to transport with the wind. But we are working also with innovative company like uh, Flying Wells. Here again, it is some project where composites are needed because of our weight of a specific stiffness to weight ratio. All these projects help to have a better future. The sustainability will be the major objective for the development of new composites. say the ratio between the stiffness or the strength to the weight but also the long-term durability. In all industry cases we need to face with long-term exposure to environmental conditions and composite materials when they are well designed and well manufactured are the best way to have a long-term life of industrial port. The composite mass for the solid side project is very high. It's uh, 80 meters and will be perhaps 100 meters long. It's uh, the limit of aluminium. Uh, when the mast are less high, they are usually made of aluminium. It moves to carbon, for example. I don't know exactly what which height it happens, but sure, at 100 meter length or height, carbon is the best candidate. You will have to join part of wood together and uh, all connection will create some lack of reliability. And with composite, especially with carbon, you can have a very large port, only one junction. And as you have less junction for the mass, we have less problems because uh, very often the problems are on the connection. And if you succeed in having a more continuous structure, it will be the best way to design it.